Quantum Amplifier is well known for its high reliability. Shure Electronics never misrepresents power of amplifier boards. A Wondon amplifier board could not only load a speaker, but also can load an air conditioner, electric stove, or other high-power products. Strict tests, such as burning test, high and low temperature test, basic performance test, and quality management are done layer by layer before releasement to ensure that the problems only occur in the lab. Today, let's see how strong Wondon amplifier boards could be. Here I will use Wondon TM for our test. Now we will do a burning test using Wondon TM amplifier board. We are equipped with a 600 watts electric stove, signal generator, LED power source, and a two-channel 1000 watts amplifier board. We set the LED power source as 100 volts and the maximum current as 4 ampere. Now, TM has been connected with the signal generator. If we turn it on, it will continuously sending out sine wave signals. You can see the electric stove has been heated up and turned red within 10 seconds. Now we will go on our burning test using the amplifier board to continuously load the electric stove at half power. The amplifier board could work properly with the electric stove over 24 hours. Now it's about 15 minutes later. Let's use a thermal imager to see the temperature of the TM. You can see the temperature on the surface is about 50 degrees centigrade. Over temperature protection is equipped in our amplifier board, so you don't need to worry about it will be damaged. Speaking of this, all Wondon amplifier boards are equipped with full protection. Here we use one channel 1000 watt TM to do an overcurrent protection test. A volumeter is connected to show the output voltage and current of the amplifier board. Now the amplifier board has been powered up and is giving a continuous sine wave signal and we can see the voltage and current from the screen. If we use a tweezer to short circuit the output stage of the amplifier, you can see the voltage and current waveform disappear in the screen. And the red alarm LED is on, which means the TM has entered the protection mode. Automatic recovery is also employed. If we remove the tweezer, we can see from the waveform in the screen that the amplifier board will get back to rework immediately.